When the design is complete, how does a 35 minute turnaround time for a fully centered Bruxer crown sound? My patient presented with a fractured all ceramic restoration on his upper left first molar. With most all ceramic restorations, we can pretty much assume they're bonded in adhesively, so often requiring multiple slots to reach the prep beneath. After the slots are created, I use a Christensen crown removal tool to then separate the sections off the tooth. By air drying the tooth, you can also get a better visualization of any remaining cement, which I prefer removing to have a fresh tooth surface to cement to. I'm using a coarse grit 856-014 round-ended tapered diamond burr to reduce the buckle to a depth that blends in with the abfraction and also to, to connect to the finish line of the original prep. When I'm finished making the bulk reduction on the axial and occlusal surfaces, I try to round over the internal line angles with a football or round burr to minimize any internal stress along our restoration. I also like to run a perio probe along the margins to evaluate the reduction and smoothness. The probe provides a great tactile feedback of these two aspects along this critical area of our preparation. On the mesial area, the translucent roof of the pulp chamber is visible. Since we're close, I'll place a thin layer of vitrobron glass ionomer for added protection. Glass ionomer does chemically bond to tooth structure, but I like to do a quick acid rinse to remove the smear layer. In this case, I use 37% phosphoric acid for five seconds and rinse that off. I'll then place a one minute application of Gluma desensitizer, suction off any excess, then apply the glass ionomer. If your margins are subgingival, some sort of gingival retraction must be used. Otherwise, margin identification at best becomes a guesstimate. Here I'm using a single core technique with a size one along the buckle and a size two on the mesial. I allow the cords to sit for at least five minutes, then gently pull the cords while they're wet right before I take the digital impression. I wet the cords and remove them gently to reduce the likelihood of any bleeding. Once I verify that I've achieved the appropriate amount of retraction, I dry the area well, then begin the digital impression using the itero element. Once the digital impression is captured of the prep, opposing, and bite, the data is transferred to the lab of my choice. In this case, it's sent to my Glidewell in-office design station. The first step in the Fast Design software is margin marking. The margin is designated by the red dotted line. I rotate the model around to ensure the line is marked correctly. Once the margins are set, the software generates a functional and aesthetic design that fits the restorative space. Incredibly, the entire design process typically takes less than three minutes. I'm so grateful to the 60 software developers that dedicated over 700 man years to create this very easy to use design software. When the design is complete, how does a 35 minute turnaround time for a fully centered Bruxer crown sound? It kind of is unbelievable and shouldn't even be possible but I'm amazed every time after I lock a Bruxer now block into my fast mill, I get a perfect fitting Bruxer crown that's ready to be delivered. On the milled Bruxer, I snap the crown at the thinnest point of the sprue and smooth the residual down with a fine grit red striped diamond burr. At this point, I'll seat the crown and check the proximal contacts. Since I found a contact value on the software that works for me, I normally have very little to no need to make adjustments to these areas. After evaluating the margins with an explorer and a bite wing radiograph, I'll check the bite for any heavy contacts. When making adjustments to lab or chair side Bruxer, we recommend using fine grit diamonds to limit the amount of surface roughness. Following any adjustments, polishing the restoration is recommended to ensure the adjusted surfaces are as smooth as possible. Here I'm using the ASAP polishing kit by Clinician's Choice that is designed to work really well on any restorative material. Prior to delivering the crown, I scrub a thin layer of Gluma desensitizer on the prep and allow it to sit for at least a minute. 
uh, the solution will help disinfect the tooth and reduce the chances of post-operative sensitivity. At this point to deliver the crown, any conventional cement or resin cement of your choice may be used with this Bruxer Now material. For this delivery, we're using 3M's resin modified glass ionomer Rely Excluding Plus. It's very easy to use with a pretty quick cleanup. After the crown is cemented, it's always a good idea to check the occlusal contacts again. And there you have it. Zero compromise for an immediate Bruxer crown using the Glidewell in-office solution.